Hello everybody, welcome to week two of the spring seasonal health and wellness program. Thanks for joining us and we've got a bunch of new people enrolled. Our group is probably up to about 75 people, um, including from different countries like Belgium, Australia, Spain, Ireland, um, and I hope I didn't miss anybody else from outside the, the United States. Um, and welcome to all the new people from across the United States. Um, this week, um, I just wanted to start with uh, touching base on the surveys that come out Monday through Friday. And this week might be a little bit easier with the surveys as I'll be sending them out in the morning time um, as this week's practice is about tongue scraping. And it'll be very helpful if after you scrape your tongue sometime in that morning window that you head down to your computer, check your email, um, and just take note of what um, the tongue looked like that morning and answer those simple questions. That will be wonderful. Um, this week, as we move into tongue scraping, if you don't have a tongue scraper, uh, please go look for one um, either at your local grocery store or pharmacy. Um, they typically have them where you buy your toothpaste or toothbrushes at a grocery store. I will also send a link to you all um, from Banya Botanicals that has tongue scrapers. Um, so you could purchase one online if that's what you choose. They're little metal devices. They're just a few dollars. And I hope they're going to be with you for the rest of the year. Um, but at least I'll get you introduced to them this week and see if that's a useful diagnostic tool for you to notice what your tongue looks like every morning um, after you wake up. And what we typically use them for is to notice when we're scraping our tongue what comes off the tongue. Um, for most people who are digesting what they're taking in, food or drink, um, the saliva will be a more clear color. If you're um, scraping your tongue and you're noticing that there's more white or yellowish coloration um, or thicker um, uh, saliva coming off the tongue, then you want to just take note of what did you eat or drink the night before, the day before, um, that maybe didn't sit well with you. So the different colors that show up on the tongue often will uh, indicate or point towards something that you're not digesting. Um, so typical things, just so you're aware of that people don't necessarily always digest that well, might be dairy. Um, so all dairy products and cheese. Um, it could also be sugar is probably one of the greatest things that contributes to excess bacteria on your tongue. So notice that you have a lot of extra sugar the day before. Um, also alcohol, um, in particular um, beer and wine. I notice for most people report that that contributes to more excess coating on their tongue. So notice if that was part of the day before. And if you're curious, what you would try to do is eliminate the things that you thought might be contributing to the extra coating on your tongue and to try not to have them the new day. So if I scrape my tongue on Monday morning and I noticed I had white, um, you know, more thick mucus bacteria on my tongue, I might on Monday try not to have sugar, alcohol, or dairy and see when I scrape my tongue on Tuesday morning if that coloration has decreased, if the saliva is more clear. And if not, I might do one more day without any of those substances and try again until my tongue is clear. Um, oftentimes, uh, if you're paying attention, you might kind of have a sense of what the item is that you ate or drank that didn't really agree with you. So it's to help you be a little bit more in touch with your body and how you're digesting things and what's actually digesting. So I hope that's helpful and inspires you um, to head to the bathroom with your tongue scraper in the morning and to uh, start getting to know that diagnostic tool. So stay in touch for the email link to Banya Botanicals um, that has the tongue scraper. On the page where the tongue scraper is available, there will also be something called nausea oil that I might encourage you to get um, that will come later in the book. But it's also really nice right now while it's cold flu season and with the spreading of the virus that's happening um, to use that in your nostrils on a daily basis um, to help prevent things from getting brought into your respiratory tract. So that's um, a great preventative step. 
um, as well as continuing to hopefully get about eight hours sleep every night. Um, and maybe you continue to fold the sleep routine into your practice moving forward this week uh, while we are still really in the cold and flu season. So I hope those are helpful little steps and keep in touch, send any email questions you have. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, we have a seasonal health and wellness Facebook group. All right, have a great week and I'll look forward to meeting with you or talking with you next week. Take care.